So I woke up today, August 8th, 2024 at eight o'clock, right? I went to uh, Twitter or X for those who call it that. And what do I see on my timeline? Canada's Wonderland, new for 2025, Alpine Fury. I kid you not, I had crust in my eyes, still trying to wake up and I'm like, wait a minute, what? What's going on? This thing is shooting out of a freaking mountain. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what King's Dominion should have got. That was my immediate reaction when I saw the 15 second promo video. And I'm just like in distraught, like, wait, what? Why the world did they give us? Why did they give us a wing coaster? Or if they were gonna give us a wing coaster, they kind of could have went a little bit further. But that's gonna be for another video. I do have a whole Raptor overview on the way, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel for that. What's going on, guys? Anzo here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the Coaster community. And today we're gonna be talking about Canada's Wonderland new coaster for 2025 Alpine Fury. Now, because they're on the metric scale, just like every other person in the world, I did look up the actual ride stats for Americans stats i'm sorry to my canadians and everyone else in the world on that one so initially it's supposed to be 164 feet with 154 feet drop so 50 meters top height and then 47 meters drop height as far as speeds it said 115 kilometers per hour which equates to 71 miles per hour in us the last conversion that i think i had to do was the track length which was a thousand meters that converts over to 3280 feet of track oh by the way i forgot it has nine inversions i said what it's canada's tallest fastest and longest multi-launch roller coaster i'm just sitting here like what is happening right now this is literally what I wish Kings of Me and Honestly would have got. Now, the only downside with this, from what I saw, they are using Premier to make this coaster. That's the only thing I'm not happy about. The trains for Premier are honestly some of the worst in the industry. It is so freaking tight. And I'm not even that tall, guys. Like, every Premier ride I get on, including Flight of Fear, all the Spaghetti Bowl models, Tempesto, all those smaller scale launch coasters, it's gonna be those trains just without comfort collars, which is a plus. I know it's a fast ride, but they could have slapped in three trains, especially with a Premier ride. They really could have did three trains. I, I know the ride is quick, but they could have slapped in three trains, but it is two trains from what it says. I didn't do the math yet for what that equates for ridership per hour. That I'm not sure of yet, but I know somebody else has probably done it. I know I was saying Alpine Fury, it's actually Alpen Fury. So yeah, that's what the actual name of it is Alpen Fury. This was a great addition for this park. This is honestly exactly what they needed and honestly what Kings Dominion also needed. Like I said, that's gonna be for a whole nother video. I'm very happy to say we now have a trip plan to Canada for next year. That's for sure. I definitely will be getting my passport. I'll have to go ahead and spit out that money because we going international, baby. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Alpen Fury uh, for 2025. Great layout, great looking coaster, great logo, great theming. I also almost forgot to say, I think this logo reminds me of a, a Icy Hot logo, but it does look pretty cool. Honestly, I really like the logo too. Very excited to get out here and ride this, but thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.